guys welcome back to this channel i wanted to bring you guys along with me today to clean out our pantry and our fridge um now this may take me a couple of days because willie is working second shift i have both of the kids and both of them now love to play with my camera so i can only record during certain times when they're sleeping mm -hmm. Um, right now Sissy's awake. She's not really that prone to getting into my, or to be messing with my camera as much as Lincoln is. But, you guys are about to see this hell of a mess that we are about to get into. Alright, let me step back here. That is the pantry, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, say it. It's a fucking mess. All right. Up top, we have all canned goods. Um, we do not eat anything canned. That is for in case something like the electric was to go out or God forbid anything ever happens. Um, there's things that can be ate that don't need... Or that aren't going to go bad, I guess you could say. Um, we stock up on rice. We have a 20-pound bag of rice that's in the trunk of the one of the cars. Um, and the other car, we're going to use... Um, probably going to start putting rice in the back of it, too, because we don't drive that car. Um, it's only been driven, like, once or twice since we've had it. I honestly don't even really realize, really know why we got it. We don't really need it. Um, but it was a good deal, so we went ahead and got it. Um, and then each one of these, I think, are 10 pounds? Yeah, 10 pounds. So, each one of these are 10 pounds. Um, we stock up on rice, beans, stuff like that, just in case anything was to ever happen. Um, but things, if you notice, are just so disorganized. Like, it used to be chips down here, like, cereal here, extra stuff here, like, extra products. And then from here, over was pastas and um this stuff right here was snacks this stuff right here was tea and then like crackers and stuff like that as you can see <laughs> none of it is where it's supposed to be you know um so that's what we're gonna do today um and i'm also going to be throwing away anything that like chips half bag another bag of half or another half bag of chips there are so many bags of blue ranch doritos that are blue whatever doritos that we buy for caden that don't even get eight they get like three chips taken out of them stuffed and they're never seen again so me and Willie have decided that from now on, when we buy him any type of chips, we're going to get him the little bags. That way, if he doesn't eat them all, it's not that big of a deal. Because it's, you know, nobody else eats those Doritos that he eats. So, every once in a while you'll see Lincoln eat them, but not very often. And then, I'm going to be putting stuff like where it's supposed to go. What are you doing, big girl? You coming back here to help mama? And then here, look. Another bag of the same chips. Same chips. Open. Um. And then, I don't know. I just feel that it is time to get this done. And go through it. Um. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me, and this may be a long video, it may not, I don't know, um, but let's get it done. Let's get it done. And so when I first started organizing the pantry, I just went ahead and started taking everything out of it, getting things out of the bins, um, cleaning out the bins, and putting things in piles, that way I knew what was going to be thrown out and what I was going to keep. That way I knew 
pretty much what I was going to be putting back into the pantry. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like I am cleaning out my pantry. I feel like I'm constantly having to organize it because, you know, and I'm in a hurry. Sometimes even I don't put things back in the right spot. So it's not just like the family and stuff, it's also me. It's such a pain in the butt trying to get it back to where it needs to be, especially in a tight little spot back there. Like we've got our washer and dryer back there. It just really, really sucks trying to organize that in such a small area. Lately, I've been trying to get my husband to like start utilizing the other spaces that we have here like inside the house and even outside the house like I said earlier we've been putting like bags of rice in the trunk of the spare car that we have that we don't really use um, because you know he's always wanting to stock up just in case anything was to happen like the electric goes out um, I mean you never know in today's world I mean this Let's be honest, this world is pretty crazy, so anything can happen at any given moment, and I still want to be able to have food for our family, but it's kind of hard to do that in such a small home. Um, yeah, we have an attic and stuff like that, but it's kind of hard to get up there, so I try to utilize as much of the space, as much of the space as possible.
Alright guys, this is the, I wish I would have took a before and after picture, but I definitely did not. So, what I'm doing is going to show you guys this now. Um, this looks so much more better. This needs to be moved down here though. So that's an extra that we have. I don't know where to put these mashed potatoes at. Um... These need to go here. Here's that nest quick. I've been looking all over for that shit. It's not wasn't even that far away. I don't know where to put the mashed potatoes at, so I'm just sticking them there. I know it's not a cracker, but it's a carb. So <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this looks so much better than what it was. It's organized to me. It may not look too organized to you, but we got chips from here to here, stuff that we're using, like those are two boxes of cereal that we have open, that coffee is open, that sugar is open, that is pop, and then that is all extra cereal that we've just recently purchased. Um, this here is all pasta, even back, because this goes back in to the, like, deep in there. So this is all like extra pastas, mostly like ramen noodles in case we lose power or, you know, a zombie apocalypse. I don't fucking know anything. Um, that's what all that is for. This is all like pasta as well. Um, these are the Nor pasta sides. There's a couple things of like pizza crust in there. Um... Then you come over here, and then from here to here is all, like, crackers and stuff like that. Um, we've got some popcorn in here, but the most majority of this is crackers. Like I said, there is this thing of mashed potatoes. I don't know what to do with it, because we don't use box mashed potatoes. I don't even know why we have it. What is the expiration date on that, anyway? Twelve nine of twenty one, so we have a little bit of time before I can toss it. Okay, then you come back into here. This is extra um, sugar, brown sugar, and then light brown sugar. I usually use the light brown sugar. I'm actually gonna stick it there because it's already open. And then all this stuff is extras. Um, those are chia seeds and flax seeds. This is tea. All different types of tea. There's immunity teas, there's sleepy time teas, stress relief teas. I'm a huge tea person. Um, and then we got chocolate milk, or chocolate milk, hot chocolate, um, some jellos. That's another thing of tea. What kind of tea is that? Oh, me and boosting tea. Okay. Um, these are like cakes and stuff. These are um, muffins. These are sissies, like little teether things. This whole thing is muffins. Um, why is that not going back in there the way that it's supposed to? Oh, it is. I'm just a goofball. Um, and then that is like those little bars, cookie or uh, suckers, some Jolly Ranchers. This is all full of um, popcorn. And then again, this up here is all rice and beans and some like extra noodle stuff that probably should be down here in the pasta, but I don't feel like letting it look that unorganized. Um, then all up above here is all canned products. We have more out in the shed. Tomorrow when I don't have little guys awake, I will, um, or tonight actually, I might even do it tonight. Um, 
I'll go ahead and do the fridge. That way, that way everything is together. Um, I'm gonna try to do it tonight. I cannot guarantee it. I know Lincoln's not gonna go to sleep until after Willie is home because he just woke up from a nap. This is why I film when the children are sleeping. the kids went to sleep and I was able to relax and clean I don't know about you but cleaning to me is pretty therapeutic sometimes it is a pain in the butt but I mean let's be honest we have to do it and when you have little kids and a family it gets dirty pretty quickly especially when you have two toddlers and you're moving like pretty fast you know things get put in places that it's not supposed to be, things get put in the fridge and forgotten, so it's something that I have to do pretty frequently is clean out our fridge, so that is what I'm doing tonight, and I thought I would be, just bring you guys along with me, and we could get it done together. The shelf that has like all our cheese and tuna and stuff in it was so hard to get out, like one side would come out, the other side would get stuck so I'd put it back and then the other side that was coming out would be stuck and the other side would come out oh it was such a pain in the butt so I tried even taking all the stuff out of it and it still wouldn't work the shelf or the drawer would not come out of the shelf so I ended up um, seeing my husband walk by and I was like can you please help me get this out and of course he gets it out the first try doesn't that suck when that happens so I was taking each one of the shelves out like as I was going in the drawers and I would take them outside and I was using my homemade cleaner and um, a scrub daddy that's what that little smiley face scrub brush thing was that I held up um, I would take it outside and put it on the porch and just scrub everything down and then spray it off with the hose. It was so much more easier that way than to put it in the sink or the like shower. I didn't want to get water all over the sh uh, countertop, so I just found it to be so much more easier just to go outside and scrub, scrub it off and spray it off with the hose. Ever since work has picked up here at home with the social media aspect of it, I have been putting little things off like cleaning the fridge completely, like scrubbing it down like I did tonight, off because I just don't have time. I mean, by the end of the day, I'm so exhausted. I just honestly sometimes don't care. I mean, that happens. And this fridge was so nasty, you guys. It was so hard scrubbing the glass off there was stuff spilled on there it was horrible please let me know down in the comment section other videos that you guys would be wanting to see and um i will try to get them filmed for you i really want to start doing more cleaning videos <laughs> my parts right beside me sorry but I want to start doing more cleaning videos and more organization videos since we have taken the kids out of the vlogs. Sometimes it is a little hard to find things to film about, but we'll get it done. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to stay for more, and leave a little video recommendation down below. Alright guys, I look a mess. I've been, as you know, cleaning, organizing all the things today. So, we got the fridge done. I want to hurry up and give you guys the tour of it. That way we can end this thing. Okay. The top shelf is all drinks. Anything that is drinkable goes on the top shelf. You have um, Avea's milk, 
and mostly this is like our coffee stuff and then we have an orange juice there in the back and then in the back are those uh, jars it's got pickles jalapenos and olives I cannot put them on their sides because they leak and I found that out the hard way with every single one of them so that's what that is this second section here is hamburger for tomorrow's meatloaf our birds pellets some wraps because we eat a lot of wraps and then there's a jar of pickles there in the back and then we have our butter and then these are some peas that I picked out of the garden the other day this first drawer here is tuna there in the back sardines for Willie um, cheese we have all different types of cheese here there's sharp cheddar uh, sticks sharp cheddar slices mozzarella mozzarella slices pepperoni and then more cheese slices and then this here is two things that are already open the rest of this is not open except for the pepperonis then we have this section down here this is a sub that Willie made or got at work some sour cream I do believe this is yes and then eggs we go through a lot of eggs um, then this section here is just potatoes some um, lemons this is our veggie drawer fruit and veggie drawer um, we just got a bunch of different fruits we go through fruits and vegetables like crazy in this house um, both of our kids are insane crazy for fruits and vegetables um, that's pretty much all Avea eats is fruits and vegetables the only child that does not like fruits or vegetables is Caden and then this one is the kids drawer this is their this is the drawer that Lincoln can come in at any given time and come grab something out of um, I put like a lot of yogurts in here these I just threw in here from the pantry earlier just to try and maybe see if he'll eat them or Sissy will eat them um, there's applesauce pouches down in here there's like all kinds of stuff under these two boxes of yogurt I eat a lot of yogurt too see there's different types of those in there um, but yeah there's jellos down in there puddings I mean a bunch of different stuff that the kids can come in and grab anything that they want at any given moment and then you just got this here I did not get that oops this up top here is mostly my um, like facial serums and then I've got my jade roller here in the back um, I keep it in the fridge to keep it cold and then this is some flaxseed that actually can be thrown out because I mean it's been in here for literally ever so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out actually and then I will go ahead and disperse those a little bit better so it's not all crazy up there and then this here this is the bird's um, chop that I put inside this bowl that way if it leaks or anything it doesn't leak into this container here because I've had that happen before and it sucks when it does this is a, a, an onion that we are using and then just condiments and stuff like that and that is the tour of our fridge our freezer I've already done so I don't really need to do the freezer um, I literally just did the freezer so I'm not worried about it like at all but I'm gonna clean up this huge mess that's behind me 
from everything I just pulled out of here. Um, yeah. But if you guys like this cleaning video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here and you want to stay. And stay for more. Um, also, I love you guys. I will be doing more cleaning videos just because that's kind of what I'm going to be doing now. Um, I'll be doing vlogs and cleaning videos pretty much. Um, I took the kids off of the channel. I will be making a video about that here soon. Um, probably this weekend and that will be Wednesday's upload. Um, or maybe Sundays if I can get it up or filmed and edited tomorrow because today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday so we will see. It will be up very soon though. Um, I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.